What's going on? It's Big A the Monkey Geek and I just saw Black Panther in a packed out cinema Tuesday night in Manchester IMAX Ah, the movie was everything I wanted from the comic book for the last like one and a bit years, two years almost that, that didn't deliver it to me everything I wanted from the comic is in this movie just the world building is great the it's just a colourful movie, great characters, great action. Man, there's just just so much, so much stuff. Like, firstly, I want to say, if you want to go and see this movie the first week it's out, go and see it. Don't let anyone stop you. Stories are universal. Stories that the main character may not be anything like you, but you can still relate to what's going on. Don't listen to anyone else. Like, go and see the movie, no matter who you are because the movie is absolutely fantastic. I loved it. I felt it was very kind of a kind of Shakespearean story. You'll get you'll understand what I mean when you actually see it. But it it was everything I wanted and I'm just so happy. Like I said the the oh man, there's so much like I think the first half of the movie uh the fights there's some, there's some like really good fights as like a fight with a staff. Um, that takes place in like the Korea scene and South Korea specifically, and that that bit's really good. But most of the fighting was kind of, wasn't was kind of subpar to me the way it was filmed. Uh, I think Ryan's done Ryan Coogler has done better kind of directing the fight scenes in Creed. However, towards the end of the movie, they vastly improve. They're so much so much better, and yeah, the story takes a while to get started because like it starts off in the nineties. And they set it up, and there's a lot. There's a, there is a fair amount of setup. Uh, I, uh, I mean, me, I wouldn't need all the exposition that they did because I'm, I'm familiar with like the character. So you don't need to tell me about the Great Mound. I already know it. Whereas the movie has to do a lot of that build up, but it, it's worth it in the end because it does kind of like make everyone on the right on the right page. For certain kind of story moments that happen later. Oh, I don't even know what else. Great Stan Lee cameo. I always forget they're coming. I always do. I'm just so into the movie that I'm watching. And then Stan Lee appears and I go, oh yeah, Stan Lee cameo. What's he going to do this time? Really good one of those. <clears throat> In terms of villains, this is one of like the best villains. Um, you've got Claw, who played by Andy Serkis, and he is fantastic. Remember how he was in Age of Ultron? He's even crazier <laughs> in this one. He's just a loose cannon and he's really fun. And also Killmonger as well, like Michael B. Jordan, man. He absolutely smashes it. Like, he's, he's a great villain with a great motivation. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't quite see it coming, but when, when you, when you, but it's really good though. <laughs> like, what they do, it, it completely makes sense and I was really happy with it. Like, I mean, this this film had me worried that it could could have been. I think certain people were kind of overhyping it for the wrong reasons, but it stands on its own two feet brilliantly. It's a breath of fresh air. It's I mean, it's a Marvel movie, but it's not like other Marvel movies. I mean, uh, there's some Marvel movies have got villains that you just go, oh, he's just evil because he's evil. Whereas this, there's there's a lot of weight and depth to things. And like I said earlier, anyone can enjoy this movie, like, you'll get it, it's very Shakespearean, it's very... It's, a, it's kind of like a story you're familiar with, but it's it's Marvel, and just the way that they did it, a majority of the movie takes place in Wakanda. And from the beginning, kind of, like, yeah, um, and you, like the development of the suit, like how the suit changes and all that, and you'll see loads of Wakandan technology, and there's a mid-credit scene and a post-credit scene, now, the mid credit scene is actually something I like. I thought it was tremendously well done because it's not, it's not preachy in any way, shape or form. You'll know what I mean once you see it, but I'm not going to give any spoilers just because I, I, want, I want you to go into this film completely fresh without, without knowing anything. But there's something that happens in the mid credits credit scene I, I think is a message that all people should hear. Like all people should hear that message because it is quite a powerful message and it doesn't come across as preachy neither and yeah stay for that also obviously stay for the post credit scene it's nothing special the main post credit scene 
but it is just kind of like a slow introduction. That's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to say anything anything more than that. I'm not even going to say who who or what it involves, but um, you will quite enjoy it. I'm trying to think as to whether there's any other stuff that I've kind of missed out. There's some funny moments in there. Uh, they're not like your regular kind of Marvel funny moments. I mean, they are and they're not. Like, <laughs> Shuri is the, uh, the kind of gateway to kind of... She obviously spends a lot of time online. And so there's a lot of Western kind of influence in her. Like, I'm not going to say she's full of memes, but she's full of memes. <laughs> so, but they're not annoying memes. Um, and I mean, you, you'll, you'll probably misinterpret that because you've not seen the film. But when you see it, you'll get it and you'll be like, oh, okay, right, I understand it, I get a character in that. But yeah, everyone's different. Like, ah, it's just, there's just so much. There's so much there. And like, I want this movie to like have a sequel. I think it really deserves to have it because it's just so well made. I want Ryan Coogler to come back because he's, he's, he's a damn, he's a damn good director. Everyone's been going on about the soundtrack and the soundtrack is good, but the score is beautiful. The score resonates on like, there's loads of like African influence in there, obviously, there's loads of drumming and whatnot, but combined with like the, the choir and like the orchestra and that and some electronic sounds and all this, it's something different, it's something more, and I absolutely, absolutely love it. I need to listen to that score again. It's by the same guy who did the score for Creed as well. Oh, like, like he was saying, it's, there's just so much, there's so much there. That like, I, I, I think I might see it again this weekend because it was that good. Um, it, I believe it came out in the UK yesterday. I, I kept seeing things, oh, it's out. But my cinema only started showing it today for some reason. And that's a big cinema as well. It's completely packed. Like, everyone, pretty much 95% of the audience stayed for the mid and post credit scenes as well. Um, and I think people really liked it because they were clapping afterwards. And I think this movie is going to be a big success. I want it to get a sequel. Don't wait. Don't let anyone tell you as to when you need to go and see it or anything like that. Just go see the movie, man. Just go see it whenever the hell you want. Don't let anyone tell you as to when you, you need to see it. Everyone can experience and enjoy the story. And I want everyone to, because I want this movie to get a sequel. And I just want them to do another, another kind of, another great story, man. It's just, it's just so good. It was so good. But yeah, definitely go and see it. Try and get tickets for this weekend if you can. Um, but... But yeah, man, if you've got superhero fatigue, this movie will make it feel like you've not got superhero fatigue. It's not, it's not the standard affair. Because T'Challa's a king, it, it's very different. I mean, that is the main kind of difference. It, he's got different responsibilities than anyone else in the, in the MCU. So, different is good, man. And this is different. It's familiar, but different. You, obviously you'll get to T'Challa doing all the things that you used to seeing him do like the cool stuff that he did in Civil War and that but yeah man as always I'm a bit of a rambler I'm rambling definitely go and see the movie don't don't hold back just go and see it as soon as possible in the US it's out on what the 14th Valentine's Day it's, yeah tomorrow yeah Valentine's Day get your girl or your boy or whatever <laughs> or your non-binary person and go and see it and yeah like comment subscribe leave a comment if you've seen it but don't do any spoilers until like actually it's best not to do any spoilers but do like wink wink kind of comments um yeah leave a comment like subscribe hit the bell notification and as always i'll catch you on the next one